Hi guys, welcome to another maths tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at some Pythagoras questions. Um, we have three different types of questions. We have simple ones such as the one that we can see here, complicated problem solving questions and one that's called the converse of Pythagoras. But we'll start off nice and easy and we'll have a look at this one here. Now, Pythagoras only works for right angled triangles. If you have a triangle that is not right angled, then you have to use the cosine and the sine rule. And there is videos on our page um, that covers those kind of questions. But in this case, we're going to deal with triangles that are right angled. So the question here asks, calculate the missing side x and it gives us two sides. So if we write out the equation for Pythagoras, it's c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Now, the triangle that we were given, I'm just going to make a quick sketch of it here. And the sides were 6 and 3. So this was 3, this was 6 and this is x. Now, there is one condition. A and B don't matter which side they are. The one condition is C. Now, C is the hypotenuse, and this must be the longest side. So this is C, and A and B are interchangeable, but we'll call this B, and we'll call this A. Likewise, you could call that A and that B, it doesn't matter. Now, if we substitute in the values that we have, so we don't know c squared, that's what we're trying to work out. However, a, in this case, is 6, so it's going to be 6 squared plus 3 squared. So c squared will equal 36 plus 9. So c squared will equal... 45. Now C, at the present moment, C is squared. However, we need C. Now the opposite of a square is a square root. So we take the square root of 45. Now the square root of 45, if you plug that into the calculator, will give you 6.7. And that is your final answer. Now, you can do a check to make sure that your answer looks correct. Because the hypotenuse, or the C, must be the biggest side out of the three. And in this case, 6.7 is greater than 6 and is greater than 3. And that's your final answer. Now, because we don't have any units, this particular question is unitless. Now, if we take a look at a problem-solving question, these are very, very common in the exam and worth quite a lot of marks. So, the problem says that the diagram shows the cross-sectional area of a paperweight and it consists of part of a circle with a horizontal base. It has a radius of 5 centimetres and AB, which is this section here known as the chord, measures at 4 centimetres and we have to calculate the h or the height, the total height of the circle. So what it's asking us to do is calculate this size here. So we need that size and we also need this size. Now the secret to these kind of questions is find a triangle. So that's why you're always best to draw the diagram and try and find a triangle. And in this case, the triangle is here. Now I'm just going to draw the triangle at the side a little bit better. Now, the total length here is 4. But we've cut it in half, so that means that this size here must be 2. And from the 
center of the circle to the outside, also known as the radius, that was given to us as 5. Now, we have two knowns and one unknown. So we can solve for x. And we do it using the Pythagoras formula. So again, we'll do c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Now this time, we're not trying to work out c squared because we already know c. c is 5. And likewise as before, these two, it doesn't matter which one is a and which one is b. But in this case, we'll call this one b and we'll call this one a which means we have to change the subject of the formula here so is that we have an equation that equals b rather than c. So if we bring the a squared across to the other side, it's positive here, which means it will go over as negative. So the equation for b squared is going to be c squared minus a squared. And we know both c and a. So we can solve the problem. So b squared equals, now we'll substitute in c, which is 5. So it's going to be 5 squared minus 2 squared. So b squared must equal 25 minus 4. b squared equals 21. Now again, that is the value for b squared. We don't want b squared, we want b. So we have to take the square root of 21. Now you will be given a calculator for these kind of questions. So if you plug that into the calculator, you get a value of 4.58. Now, h, that's that part there from the centre to the baseline here, or the chord. So we know that this bit here is 4.58. However, h is a combination of both that length and that length. So h is a combination of x plus the radius, because from here to here is the radius, and the 4.58 was denoted by x. So if we sub the values in, we found that x was 4.58 plus the radius, which was 5. So h is equal to 9.58 centimetres. Because this time, the question has units. It's h in centimetres. And that's how you go about solving these kind of problem-solving questions. And then finally, the last topic that you could be asked on Pythagoras is a thing called the converse of Pythagoras. Big fancy word for something that isn't very fancy. All it means is you have to prove whether or not a triangle is a right angle. And you do this by using the formula. Because if we analyse the formula and we say that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And again, quick sketch of the triangle. Doesn't have to be fancy. This was 25, 20 and 15. That was 20 and 15. Now, according to the equation, for Pythagoras to work, the value of c squared must equal the value of a squared plus b squared. So if the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, then that means that the triangle is a right angle. So if we look at the left-hand side of the equation first, which is the c squared. So we know that the hypotenuse is c. We will call this b and we'll call this a. 
So, left hand side is 25. So if we work out 25 squared, if you pop that into the calculator, it will give you a value of 625. Now, if this is indeed a right angle triangle, the right hand side should add up to 625. Let's find out. So if we substitute in A for 15, we'll get 15 squared plus 20 squared. Now, if you pop 15 squared into the calculator, you will get 225 plus 20 squared, which is 400. Now, add them together, you get 625. Now, because the left-hand side does indeed equal the right-hand side, the triangle is a right-angled triangle by the converse of Pythagoras. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more maths content and we'll see you in the next video.